for text okay and then uh, let's adjust the shape again Uh, all right um, okay so I think um, now we have a proper shape of the sitting part of the chair okay so um, I'm going to make uh, the bottom bar all right so uh, to make that bar actually um, <coughs> I'm going to select uh, the outer center surface around here and then I'm going to extrude that surface all right so let's do that and um, okay so select the object and then go to polygon and then um, as you can see this is top surface so we need to flip this object and then we need to select this outer surface so we need to see as wireframe and then let's click this polygon all polygon at the bottom center all right and then let's go to left view okay and then uh, go to edit polygon here and then you can see extrude extrude click this extrude and then you can click the setting and then you can extend the height all right so let's make proper height I think that's enough and apply oh no cancel and okay I'm sorry I'm I'm going to do again so um, extrude click extrude and click setting and then you can um, adjust height if you find proper height uh, let's click just OK all right and then uh, I'm going to pepper uh, this uh, the end of this bar so um, the bar going to be tapered shape so uh, for that we need to select vertex here and then let's go to top view all right and then let's select scale right and then we can reduce the scale and then let's go to left view now you have a tapered shape so if you want more tapered uh, shape let's go to top view again then you can reduce more you can reduce the radius so let's go to left view so um, that's it and then deselect let's see the shape so now you have a uh, uh, the sitting part and connected the bottom bar so right that's it and then uh, you can make this shape uh, as very uh, smooth shape so uh, can you remember that so let's go to subdivision surface click use norms subdivision and then you can change iteration uh, value as 2 so now you have very um, clean and smooth uh, the sitting part okay all right uh, now I'm going to make uh, the cylinder part uh, to connect this upper uh, sitting part and the bottom part
plate. So to make that cylinder, um, I'm going to work at the top view, all right? And then you, can, you need to see as a wireframe. Uh, from here, uh, let's go to geometry, not shapes, geometry. And then let's go to um, extended primitives, all right? Then uh, you have um, uh, lots of uh, geometry, but we are going to use the chamfer cylinder, all right? So click this chamfer cylinder, and then I'm going to make a cylinder from the center. Uh, if you click this uh, magnet, magnet shape tool. Um, usually I'm using um, the 2.5 magnet. It's a snapping tool. So click this 2.5 uh, magnet and you can easily uh, snap, grab the center point. All right. So you can draw uh, easily from the center point of this um, circle. So um, I'm going to make chamfer cylinder from this center so click and drag and then double click all right now you have a uh, um, the chamfer cylinder let's see uh, at the left view all right so click L and select and move to move this chamfer cylinder, uh, this chamfer cylinder line at the bottom. Um, now you don't have uh, the thickness of this this cylinder, so we are going to make thickness of this cylinder. So select this cylinder and go to modify, and then you can, as you can see, the height is zero, so you can change the height. All right then um, you can fill it you can make um, you can extend the fillet value right so um, this cylinder cylinder became uh, the chamfered cylinder all right so uh, let's move let's adjust the location Alright, top view just looks good. So now you have this kind of cylinder to connect this upper setting part to uh, the bottom plate. Okay, uh, from now uh, I'm going to add um, the foot plate, all right. So um, the round shape, uh, round ring shape uh, foot plate. So uh, let's go to the top view, and then let's change as a wireframe view, and then um, let's go to um, not geometry, the shapes, and then let's go to ellipse. So let's click the ellipse okay so um, uh, just let's click and drag and then um, um, let's make ellipse around here so then uh, you can select and move to proper location oh, not this just select this just um, ellipse line around the center okay so right then let's go to left view and then let's